Welcome back. In 2011, member states of UNESCO proclaimed February 13th as the International World Radio Day and it was adopted by the United Nations in 2012. Radio is a powerful medium for celebrating humanity in all its diversity and constitutes a platform for democratic discourse according to UNESCO. The theme of the 2022 edition of World Radio Day is thus devoted to radio and trust. To tell us more about the relevance of radio in the era of digital transformation is the Executive Director at the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology, that is Mr. Bota Wanjarakana, joining us on the line. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning, Namibia. Now, Mr. Wanjara Kana, radio continues to be one of the most trusted medium of communication. Now, as ED of the Ministry of ICT, how would you describe radio as a means of communication in Namibia? Is it fully being utilized, sir? For over a century, uh, radio has been and continues to uh, remain the only medium that has divided footprint in Namibia and beyond reaching the majority of the populations who have no access to the internet. That makes it the most used mass communication medium in the country. Radio goes where most media and new technologies cannot. It goes beyond electricity and telephone signals. It remains the most effective way of delivering information in the remote corners of Namibia. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, ED, there has been emergence of other media platforms, especially online media. So what is the ministry doing to ensure that radio as a medium of communication continues to maintain its relevance? The government has created and continues to maintain a conducive environment for all the media to operate and that not interfere with the content or editorial policy of radio or any other media. What we say is that radio should use available platforms with the advent of new technology uh, or presented by the new technology in order to reach even a wider, much wider audience and remain relevant. Mm -hmm. Now, the theme for this year is devoted to radio and trust. Please explain this to us. Building on more than a century of its history, radio remains the most widely consumed and trusted media for both the illiterate and literate, for urban and rural communities. The theme recognizes radio's long-standing position as one of the most trusted media around the world. Trusted because it has got verifiable uh, sources of information. Mm -hmm. uh, it reaches out the widest um, spectrum of um, the citizenry. And it's uh, the, in most cases the only source of news and information. Mm -hmm. Now, ED, fake information, mis- and disinformation has also found its way to the public domain. How can information be verified to ensure that it, it can be trusted from the public, as you mentioned, as you just explained? It remains a collective um, uh, human effort from both radio broadcasters and the public to acquaint themselves with trusted sources and fact-check information before sharing or disseminating it. And therefore, the public has the comfort of um, accepting what is realistic because sources can be, have, have always been, there has been traditional sources of information uh, with verified uh, information for that matter and and therefore, uh, hence the trust, if the trust in radio, uh, there's, there's no uh, confusion about that. Mm -hmm. Edie, how is the ministry intending to commemorate the World Radio Day? The ministry, together with the stakeholders and partners, will celebrate the day at Kairos Radio, a community radio based in Rehoboth region. And the program comprises of two parts, an official ceremony, uh, with uh, speeches and uh, uh, statements and a panel discussion focusing on the theme, radio, and trust. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific reason why this uh, radio station has been specifically chosen to commemorate this day? 
It is important to to recognize uh, the efforts of communities in taking uh, charge of affairs uh, of information within their locality to serve uh, the market uh, in their doorstep and also to share information in uh, pertaining to development um, in, in in their locality so that so that the voiceless uh, at every corner of the country can find their uh, their foot uh, in the door, the national door of national discourse, and hence keeping a community radio is a way of supporting uh, its aims uh, and objectives and strengthening uh, the good work of uh, communication and information dissemination. Mm -hmm. As we wrap up our conversation, please share with us your final remarks, sir. The final remark we can make is that uh, government has created a conducive environment, of course, with the support of uh, well-meaning uh, citizens uh, and partners uh, for the media to operate in, in the provision of un unhindered access to information. And therefore, we would like to encourage the radio to continue being responsible to the faith and needs of their listeners. We further urge all radio stations in the country to continue adhering to the code of ethics to maintain public trust, particularly in this era or hour of uh, the challenge, the, 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 the pandemic, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, where uh, it is very, very sensitive uh, for radio stations uh, to communicate and share uh, valuable and verifiable uh, information and not uh, attempt to mislead. Um, uh, citizens uh, for the sake of uh, marketing um, and attracting um, the listeners. Well, E.D., thank you very much for taking our time to speak to us this morning. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Namibia. Right. Well, that was Mbeuta Wanjarakana, Executive Director at the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology, talking to us about World Radio Day and how the ministry plans to commemorate the day. When we return, Denver continues the conversation around World Radio Day.